In this tutorial, we'll show you how to set up our Bagnet Profinet Gateway. To do so, we are going to use the Intesis Bagnet Profinet Gateway and the Intesis Map software. Let's begin opening Intesis Map software and then we'll click on Create New Project. To see all Bagnet templates available, we'll click on the Bagnet logo and then we'll choose the template for Ebox Bag PRT. Finally, we'll click on the next button. Let's begin with the configuration by clicking on the configuration tab. In general settings, we can set a name and description for this project. Then on connection section, we can enable or disable the DHCP option. In this demo, we'll use a DHCP server, so we are going to enable the DHCP option. Finally, we must choose a password for this project to protect IP connections. In this case, we'll be admin. On the Bagnet server settings, we can change few options for Bagnet IP and MSTP networks. In general configuration, we can set the device name, which is the name we'll see from the Bagnet network. In this case, we'll leave their default value. In the device instance field, we'll set the instance number. By default, is 246 in all Intesis Bagnet devices. Password field is a password for Bagnet protocol used to protect some Bagnet operations. Now we have to set the communication mode of the gateway. In this demo, we'll use Bagnet IP protocol. So let's select IP and then select UDP port and a network role if is needed. On the advanced configuration, we can manage notification classes, state text, calendars, schedules, and trend logs. Now let's move to Profinet tab. Here, set bit alignment in the input-output structures, and then on the advanced configuration, we'll enable the full web server and HICP communication in the Profinet interface. They will help us on commissioning process. Once process finished, we recommend to disable them again for security purposes. Now let's move to the signals tab. Here we already have some signals created. Now we are going to add a couple more. So let's activate signals and set their name and description. Then set the correct bagnet object type and bagnet units in case of analog signals. On the Profinet side, enable cyclic parameter for the signals that we want to send periodically in the input-output memory blocks. All the other parameters are automatically configured based on the bagnet configuration. Once the signals configuration is done, Let's open Profinet configuration again and export configuration files as needed. Now let's see the information included in each file. Configuration report has three sheets, one with all input cyclic data, another one with all output cyclic data, and the last one with all Profinet data and their index to access them using the acyclic data exchange. TIA portal tag file is used to easily import all data points in the TIA portal software. It includes all signals available in the gateway. Finally, GSD file provides a way for an open configuration tool to automatically get the device characteristics. Let's move to connection tab. Here we have two connection options, IP and USB. In this demo, we are going to use the IP option. So we'll click on IP port and then we can connect introducing IP address and communication port of the gateway. Otherwise, we can choose our device from the discovered gateways list. Now, on the right side will appear all information of the selected gateway. Then, click on the connect button. So now, we are connected to the gateway as we can see in the status bar at the bottom. Now let's click on the Receive and Send tab. Click on Send to send configuration to our gateway. When the process is done, a message will appear. 
Then the gateway will reboot and maps will be disconnected. Now we can start to configure Profinet interface. To do so, we'll use the ipconfig tool which uses HICP protocol to discover devices and sets their configuration. So let's start ipconfig and then click a scan button. Finally, double click on Intesis Gateway. Here, select the right configuration for the Profinet interface and set all required parameters. Finally, click on Set to save configuration on the gateway. Ok, now configuration is finished. So let's check that all the setup we have done is working properly. To do so, we'll use Yave as a bagnet client and Profinet Master Simulator as an I.O. controller. On Yave, we must add a new communication port. Once created, in the device tree will appear the gateway. Now let's select the gateway to see all signals available. After that, we'll select all input signals and we'll subscribe to all them to see their values. On Profinet Master Simulator, select Interface to be used and go to Select Device menu to select our gateway from the scan list. Now select GSD file and configure IO data memory blocks. Then click on Start to initiate communication with the gateway. From Yave, select Output Signals and change their values. In the Profinet Master Simulator, we'll see all changes in the Input Data field. Now change Output Values in Profinet Master Simulator and see how they change in Yave. Finally, we are going to test acyclic data. To do so, open parameter window and check Profinet indexes on the configuration report. The first signal we are going to read is AI0 and their Profinet index is 1. So set index and data length in the request parameters and finally click on request. Then we'll do the same with signal MI0. So that's it, I hope you like it and see you in the next tutorial.